Hey, do you want stronger tomato plants? If so, you came to the right place. All you need is this and your sprayer. All right, so this is aspirin. Yes, it is going to work. All right, so before we get into that, I wanna let you know that this video is being sponsored by Quick Tent. They have amazing products like greenhouses that I like to grow in, and they also have raised beds as well. And so if you look down below, you'll see the uh, link where you can find all those things. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, he has got to be crazy, but this actually works. Now, first thing you need are your aspirin, and you wanna make sure that you get aspirin that are 325 milligrams. All right, so that is gonna help you be on your way. You also wanna make sure that they are not coated. You do not want any of the uh, coating on there because that is gonna mess up your sprayer. So don't do it. All right, so what you can do, you can take a small cup and just lay your aspirin in there and let them dissolve over time. But I'm kinda in a hurry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sheet of paper, I'm gonna take a hammer, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fold it over and gently tap on it just like this. So that's gonna help with the uh, process of them breaking down because you gotta make sure they break down. And then you have your water. Now, this can, you want to have at least a gallon can. I know this is not, but I'm using this for demonstration purposes. All right, so it's one aspirin per gallon. All right, so if you got a two gallon, can watering can then of course you want to make sure that you got uh, two aspirins all right so you see I got it I don't know if I can tilt it a powdery substance which is the aspirin slide it on in and like I said you can just drop them in a little cup and stir it around and let them break down and then pour it in but you want to make sure that they're broken down all right so once I got that down all I'm gonna do is uh, Put this down, make it tight, and shake it real good. And I still gotta allow that time to uh, break down even though I um, hit it with the hammer. I've already had this one down, and once again, I like to use the uh, gallon or two gallon spray sprayers, but I have some neem oil in those right now. All right, so you're gonna use this to spray your leaves. If you want to do a drench with the uh, roots, then you wanna go two aspirin per gallon and that's just to uh, wet the uh, roots all right so once the aspirin has broken down it's going to have some salicylic acid that's what we want all right so once we spray this on our plant it's going to trigger the SARS response and the SARS response is just something simple as it's going to trigger the immune system because it's feel like we're tricking it like it's injured or the pests are coming so once we get them thinking that way there's going to build up their defense you're going to have tougher uh, leaves they're going to be darker and so once the pest comes to try to attack your actual plants then it is going to be prepared because it's going to be ready and the pests are still going to come but this is going to help them fight the pest all right so let's go ahead and start to uh, spray some of it and then i got to tell you some more things and give you the routine of how you need to uh, spray this. So let's go ahead and get some of these plants going. All right, so here's the uh, first plant. I like to make sure that they're at least a foot tall or higher, but this right here is going to uh, start the uh, response. I try to get all over the leaves, and the first time I will try to hit the uh, root just a little, but uh, get it all over the uh, leaves, and that should trigger the uh, response. All right, so you wanna do this every 10 to 14 days. If you do that, you're gonna have strong, healthy uh, plants. All right, so we're gonna go over to this next one. And all I'm doing is just trying to cover the entire plant, just like this. All right, so it is definitely going to uh, help. And you can look it up because they have actual evidence of this, the scientific evidence that this helps the uh, tomato plants. All right, so we're gonna get that response going and you wanna make sure that you get these plants before they are stressed. If they're already stressed, then you could have some trouble. All right, so make sure of that. Now, if I was you, if this is your first time 
using this uh, method, you want to uh, come out and just test spray one plant to make sure that in your area, your climate, you don't have any, uh, air, any issues with the uh, aspirin. And then once you wait about 24 to 48 hours and you see that there's no issues, then you, can, you know it's safe, go ahead and spray the uh, rest of your plants. All right, this is good for a couple weeks. And like I said, 10 to 14 days, try to get a timer so you don't miss out all of the uh, benefits of uh, using the aspirin spray. And you're gonna notice that your leaves are gonna feel a little bit tougher over the uh, time once that response kicks in because it's just like when you get sick, your immune system tries to fight it off. We're trying to go ahead and trigger the stress so that it can beef up. But if it's already having issues, don't do it. That's why you wanna make sure that get, you get your plants when they're nice and uh, healthy before the uh, pest comes. So make sure you check your plants, make sure that they don't have any uh, issues, fungal issues, anything like that, because we don't need to put stress on top of stress. This right here is going to uh, help your plants. Trust me, and like I said, Google it, and you will see that they have done studies on this. All right, this right here is a game changer for you tomato growers. All right, so I got a lot of tomatoes to get. Now I notice I do have like one or two plants over there that are already stressed with something. So I do have some more tomato plants. I'm probably gonna take those two out and go ahead and replace them because I got extras. Hey, I love the idea of using something as simple as aspirin in a watering can to help my tomato plants get nice and strong. Now I noticed that I do have a few plants that are already dealing with some issues, but overall I need to go ahead and handle my entire garden so that I don't have all those issues. This right here is so great, but once again, look it up if you do not believe the aspirin trick. It's a game changer. All right, so I got more plants to do, but I'll see you in the next video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe so you can get more information just like this because I'm going to help you grow some food. All right, so let's go.